12, 13 yeah, years now. Uh, whenever the cardigans arrive, we it is named as Cardigan Day. Official. Uh, it's official. official. It's official <laughs> Cardigan Day. Um, so we have all our colours here. As you know, we work with Bill. Um, he's quite the celebrity uh, <laughs> and he's really, really amazing. He used to have a factory down in Marrickville on Carrington Road and he is now, um, two years ago, he's moved mm -hmm. out um, sort of past sort of Liverpool way now and stuff like that due to... Uh, you know, the inner west. Um, rent going up. And... Yeah, rent going up and everything like that. And I think his building was getting turned into apartments. Who knows? Well, actually, I haven't checked on that. What's what's happening? Um, so. Our knitwear is something that we spend a lot of time on. Uh, we started developing this last October. Yep. Uh, you would have seen sort of from sneak peeks and stuff. Uh, this time we actually um, Kel brought in embroidery thread um, and we sent that off to the dye house to match all our colours that we wanted. Um, it's always a little bit hit and miss. Uh, I think we chose... 11 colors this season yeah. and one color was just it was a no when i went out and viewed them it was um meant to be a pink and it came in hadn't green, quite so translated it hadn't translated, hadn't quite translated. All. um so previously we'd used like uh, we went to bunnings and we use little um, paint, chips. paint chips um and that was good too but i do feel like the embroidery thread i think this is the best match we've had and we um, had a good range of colors to start with i think i picked about kind of 50 colors and then we yes. narrowed it down to 25 or so yeah. and then we ended up with 11 we could agree on so. yes yes <laughs> Yeah. Which uh, we don't disagree on much anyway no, when it comes to no, colour, luckily. <laughs> so we work with Bill, he's one of the last knitters in Australia. Um, he, it's all machine knitted, it's not hand knitted. He has about six different machines, um, all from Germany. Uh, I'm obsessed with the way that they work. I mean, I'll probably do another video about that because it's really, really fascinating. Um, we this is our first drop of the season a lot of people are sort of going how many drops will we have how many you know i want to plan my colors i want to do all that sort of stuff and to be completely honest with you i have no idea <laughs> obviously in this economic climate and obviously with the shop doors not being open i don't know how much like how many drops we're going to have how many different colors we're going to be able to produce so for the first drop we wanted to choose um, a range of colors um, to create like a really beautiful rainbow to cover lots of different ones that you might be missing in your wardrobe um, But in terms of like when you look at if you look back at all the colors that we said are coming I can't promise you every single one and some might be mixed together We have a few plans um, for some different sort of knits down the track as well and for jumpers and stuff like that So and I think in reference to that too, yeah. I think that that is definitely the beauty of how we work here as well because yeah. the thing is if one color will sell out it means we can probably rerun it yeah. um so a lot of the time we will do an initial stock so we know we can gauge interest and we're not kind of over making and meaning we're left with the stock so it's actually the beauty of knitting it here is that we can get them fairly quickly and it will mean that we have a bigger range in the end because we can kind of meet demand when it's needed yes. and also we're not wasting the wool which is really expensive so yeah. it's good for both of us but i think it's also the beauty of making here yeah. yeah, that same thing. Chris has a close relationship with everyone she yeah. works with in terms of makers and Bill. Um, and he just loves a visit. So we're going to go out there pretty often. <laughs> loves a visit. <laughs> loves he, a visit from yeah. Chris. <laughs> and he has definitely also said to me that, you know, he definitely needs us to do more than one season. So um, let's, like, sorry, not more than one season, but more than one drop. So let's hope um, this does sell really quick so we can go into second round of production. <laughs> Um, a really big uh, feature point for this season, which we've never used before, is Australian merino wool. Um, often we have to use mixes and things like that, but this time we were able to um, get hold of the most beautiful merino it wool. It feels amazing. It feels amazing. It's always it's felt so amazing, nice. like it has, um, but this is even more special. Like as soon as I felt it, I was like, what is this bill? And he's like, oh, it's Australian this time. And it does make a really big difference. It's also called mercerized. And a lot of people ask us about mercerized. Basically, it means that um, the fibers are sort of knitted inside out. Um, that's probably the best sort of yeah. description, which means that it's really low pill. And often a lot of people who are really itchy, uh, I'm sorry, who are allergic and get itchy can wear a mercerized um, merino. And I think essentially they kind of take the fluffy bits off yep. the fiber. So yep. it's a really high tension fiber yes. and then they basically shave all the fluffiness off, which is usually what makes you itch. So yep. a lot of the time people we know who are um, made, like, you know, 
sensitive to yes. wool. I don't know about allergies. No, like, I, I don't know how, about allergies. How much you get away yeah. with that. I know I a lot of people when they sort of pop stuff on, um, even when we've had other brands in that are yeah. wool, they pop it on, especially when it's still a bit humid and hot, yeah. you do kind of, people go, oh, this is itchy. And that's when you know that it's not quite yet winter, whereas we've got these on today. And it's 25 outside. It's so. 25. <laughs> and we've both got nothing on underneath. Yeah. And, um, They're they, not itchy at no, all. They're actually quite silky feeling and they, yes. they breathe. This is actually quite a textured thick knit. Yes. Um, it's not restrictive thick. It has actually a lot of give, but for the thickness, I am surprised I'm not hot in this, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think it's a, it's a really good fiber. Yes. It is true them. what they say about natural fibers breathing. Um, it yeah. is like your cottons, your wools and all that sort of stuff that makes a huge, huge difference. Uh, so we've done two different types of knits. Um, I want to sort of reference back a lot to our previous knits over the years, because I know a lot of you have a wardrobe full of them. Um, and so we wanted to do, probably you can sort of see that the first difference is that this is a little v-neck. So normally we do just a little round neck. Uh, we've kept it still Clementine and Primrose. As you know, they're our names. Our Primrose is our sort of more cropped one, which is what I've got on. And Kel's got on our Clementine, which is a little bit lo uh, longer. And um, you will find that it, usually we sort of do like a sort of rounded neck. And these ones are a v-neck. They obviously still do up um, and you don't need to wear anything on underneath. But if you do have something on underneath, you can sort of see, it, see a little bit of the pattern. Yeah, which, they still do up quite low, yes. which I think is really nice with something like a Saski, yeah. but also if you do have a high neck on, yeah. it just gives you that nice yeah. V, which I think yeah. combines a little bit better than a crew neck sometimes. Yes. So yeah. it will be quite a different look to your other um, primaries. Like we've been yeah. wearing our little gold Lurex one from yes. last year, the last couple yeah. of weeks, and yeah. it does look pretty different to that. And I think just the way it sits when you have it unbuttoned is really nice and yes. a neck. Um, yeah. And it's it just cool. means like, I think that you do have a quite a collection and I know there's people who have I'd have to say on average, most of our customers have about five different um, types of our knits. Yeah. And I do think that it offers something, like I'm straight away sort of like, this will be great with a collar. This will be great with a yeah. V-neck. This is, looks great with, because you can see the pattern underneath a lot. Um, and I've sort of got a V-neck dress on and it still looks really cute. Um, the other big factor from previous years is that we've added uh, width to our sleeves. So yeah. um, I often we used to find in the shop and stuff like that and even feedback from online is that they'd sort of go to put, pop it on and they'd have to ease it up the arm. Um, these ones, when you do pop them on, there's not that sort of ease. You literally sort of throw it on straight away and you can pop it on. Um, and I know a lot of people used to size up uh, with our cardies and things like that, but I truly feel these are a very good representation of size. Yeah, Coming and our standard size. And our standard like, sizing, I think, yeah. You know, our extra smalls are pretty standard kind of eight. Yeah. I think the cardie is too, and you're gonna have a little bit of room. It's yes. not gonna be like a tight eight the first no. time you put it on. It's a pretty standard. It's a pretty standard yeah. eight. Um, and then we, uh, for the first time ever as well, we've gone to a four X. So we do extra small to four X. Um, again, with the knits, a lot of people will say to me, oh, you know, uh, what size does Kirby wear or something like that. And just because she takes a 4X or a 3X in our dresses, she doesn't wear that in our knitwear. No. She usually only wears a large or an extra large. Yeah, I think if that, yeah. I think a lot of the time her look is like cropped and cute and vintage. So yes. if that's not your look, I, you can definitely just stick with your normal size. But yes. I think, you know, in terms of us, we always go a smaller size because yeah. we like it fitted. Yes. We know they give, that's the thing, our knits are quite soft yes. this season. We've added that room through the arm so you definitely can size down safely if yeah. you want it to be short and cropped yeah. and cute. Um, but you know, if you want it to be loose as well, I was just saying to Christina how I really feel this Clementine's kind of become a bit of a grandpa party, yeah. which I really like. Yeah. I think it's just a cute little length. It looks really good undone. And if you're kind of lounging around the house this winter, like, you know, working from home and things like that, this will be a great one just to throw over a comfy dress yep. or a pair of leggings or whatever. And it'll be like drapey and it'll be warm. Yes. It'll be a yeah. really good piece to wear. Yeah. So yeah. And just different to what you've already got, yeah. like, which is what I think a factor for us for, for knitting them for, um, you know, 13 or 14 years, we understand the collections that you do have and we wanted to sort of offer something different. Um, in terms of um, the textures, because I know a lot of people often ask about that as well, we've just chosen two for the first drop. Uh, you have our basket knit, what we call our basket. I'm just going to come up here and sort of show you. You can sort of see that texture through there. And then we're calling this one like sort of like a diamond kind of quilt. Um, you can sort of see it's got sort of like a little twist through there and it's got the diamonds, obviously. Um, both fit really similarly. Oh, God, I can't even speak, but you know. Similarly. <laughs> similarly. <laughs> <laughs> and um, a lot of people 
when we basket used to be one of our most popular because it has the most amount of give um, but I actually find that these are kind of similar in terms yeah. of their stretch although we did just notice now because that's kind of what local manufacturer is all about is that the length of this diamond one this is a um clementine. watermelon the watermelon clementine, clementine. Yeah. um if you compare that watermelon clementine to the, teal. to the teal you can see there is sorry you can see there is a little bit of a length difference but they are actually still a clementine we will pop up all measurements up online um that's just a fun little uh thing that we discovered this little, morning yeah, which you do get with yes. local production yep, yep. <laughs> sometimes they just decide the length themselves yes. so that's great yep, yep. <laughs> but you know it is also nice to have that difference like i put that on this morning and i was like oh weird this primrose feels longer no it's actually a clementine yes. and it's kind of an in-between yes. size so yeah. hey it's a different look again <laughs> you can usually tell straight away like i was actually on zoom with kelly yesterday and i was counting the buttons um and so you can easily sort of see that your primrose, primrose has five, five um clementine actually has seven so there yes. is a difference in the buttoning like the, they start at a very similar point yep. on the bus, like the V-neck starts at the same point, but you can see there is definitely a length difference um, in terms of like you could fit seven on this placket, yes. you can only sit, sit five on that one. Yes. So um, yeah. yeah, that's that's the main difference. But that's I mean, you, and know, you can obviously see where they sort of um, sit. Uh, Primrose was introduced for the first time last year, I think, and it was specifically designed to wear back a lot with our dresses um, that have a waist sort of through it so and, and our skirts so it doesn't sit too long you don't have to crop it up and things like that um, I think probably most of us in here are big converts to primrose uh, it just sort of it just is perfect with what we make but we totally understand the ease of a clementine if you're a big pants wearer jeans wearer clementine is really really good for that and I think well. lounging around the house this is definitely what I would yeah. go to it's a yeah. really soft knit this basket I think like Chris said, they're a very similar fit, yeah. but I do feel like this is quite soft and after you've worn it a bit, might end up a little bit kind of sloppier yeah. and a bit softer yeah. than the diamond wheel because it has that flat element to the knit as well. Yeah. It probably will keep its shape a little bit different yes. to the basket, yeah, yeah. I think. So yeah. I think this basket weave and a clementine will just be a perfect kind of piece to lounge around the house in yeah. and to keep you really warm. Really it warm. is a really great <laughs> knit, this basket, yeah. for being warm. Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously our buttons, um, they're a trademark of ours, I think. Not, not that it's trademarked, but you know. Um, <laughs> not official. Not, not official. official. <laughs> but um, we uh, we always do a contrast uh, covered button. There's something that's that we're known for. It brings out, you know, it just always works really well with our stuff. Uh, we've obviously chosen um, all Liberty buttons for this first drop as well. Uh, so and we definitely planned that. We definitely, definitely. planned that. We definitely planned it and um, <laughs> it just worked out perfectly just for once. <laughs> uh, we just needed yeah. something just, 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 just to work. Just happened to have six yeah. colors that worked with That's the six right. buttons we had. So it's, right. it's a miraculous little element. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Mick, um, as you know, a quick buttonhole, he hand covers every single one. Um, and in they, front of his TV. Uh, in front of his TV, it's his so favorite cute. job to do. Um, <laughs> and they do, they look amazing. You can get ones like really floral, like the sort of cherry drop sort of one here. But then and I've got mine matching my entire dress so that's a really cute little um, matching outfit if you want to go for the full match some people do yep this one here is the curation uh, fabric which was actually like a really large scale print so you can sort of see this one is not floral at all um, and will be a perfect match to your ED if you ended up with a curation yes. ED dress oh. I think I'll be taking the mustard yeah. home just yeah. so I can wear them together so. um, I think this one is the one I've been asked for the most Lockwood uh, the Lockwood fabric was our most popular Liberty fabric I can't even show you a piece of it because I think it sold out and we did use this on the grass uh, colour. So we might actually run through all the colour names now because I know on different screens and I know in videos and I know on the lighting everything's going to come through differently. So we'll run through everything now with the colours. So grass green, it is pretty much grass. Um, you know, we also were tossing around fern for yeah. a colour. It's a yeah. really traditional green. Um, you know, it's not an emerald. It's definitely not dark enough to be emerald. It, it's a really good match to the Titology tights we have in at the moment. It's a really um, accurate green to that. If you've watched that video of um, Titology colours, that's a really good one if you want kind of a 
a match to your tides, that is going to be perfect yes. with it. So, yes. and that's the primrose. That's the primrose. And this is um, the steel blue in the clementine. This is actually a large. Um, everything else we've got up there is extra smalls. Um, the steel blue is a beautiful one. It's quite a good neutral. It's what Kel is wearing. As you can sort of see, it's like a bluey kind of grey. Very vintage. Very I mean, vintage. That one. Like, yeah. It's a really good neutral kind of grey blue to work with a lot of different things out of our range. Um, I was holding it up to a lot of stuff to see what to photograph it with and I think it really would work with a lot. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to move on to the, the teal. teal, the teal. <laughs> we were discussing colours yesterday. Yeah, so we decided like, on names Yes, yesterday. yeah. <laughs> um, again, in the basket knit, and this is the uh, clementine again, and the fabric of this one is um, the one with the little Liberty fabric with um, the lions on it. What was it called? Prince Milo. I Prince love that Milo, name. Yeah. Um, so that's that one there. Um, I've got the mustard. So this is quite a true kind of golden mustard. Um, definitely not too much green for people who are scared of yellow normally. This is quite a warm um, golden yellow. Um, a lot of mustard can be quite chartreuse and this definitely isn't at all. I would say if anything, it's actually erring on the side of like a pinkish kind of um, tone in the undertone. So that's got the curation buttons and that's in the primrose. So that's the short length, which will look really cute with so many of our Jessie dresses and our other prints that are in the range. Um, or that you might have nabbed over the season. And in reference to that one, I usually say I can't wear a mustard. I find it too dirty, but I really liked that colour. It, um, it was really complimentary to my skin when I, I do normally steer clear away from um, yellows. Uh, this one here, uh, we thought the perfect name was watermelon. Again, this is the clementine, um, and it is. This is the one that we mentioned is slightly shorter to the other two clementines. Um, but again, we will pop up measurements. It's not a noticeable difference, really. It's more just like when we were throwing them all on in a row, we did notice. It's got the cherry drop um, liberty fabric, which we made the Saski dress in. That would be a really, really cute outfit as well. Um, it's a perfect sort of red pink. So I wouldn't sort of say if you hate pink. Don't rule this out. It still has a really good sort of tone to it and as well. And depending on what you wear it with, I think it yep. could look more red depending on the colours you wear it with. Yep. Like if you wore that with navy, it would look quite traditional red. Right. Um, and then I think if you were to pair it with pink, it'll look a little bit more watermelon. Like you can kind of see where Chris is standing in her Saski next yep. to it. It's similar tones and that's a combination of red and pink, yep. but you can see it yep. looks more red next to pink. Yep. So depending on what you wear it with, I do think it's going to be a very versatile red, even if you have our traditional fire engine red we do every season. Yeah. usually so um, this is our last little one which is another basket weave this is our primrose and the buttons of the floral edit so if you manage to nab a piece in that floral edit in our little um, Ella skirt this would be a great combo with it um, this we were just raving about it this morning both of us had it on it's such a beautiful magenta and as you know we don't do a lot of purple so this is one that we've done for the purple fans um, you know neither of us wear a lot of purple I tend to go towards lavender but I think I will wear this to death I think it's gonna work really Really well with pink and really well with teal and both of which I wear a lot of so that's our last one yeah so we'll probably leave it there I'm sure we'll be doing 